This is the time of year again. We're a little bit over a year removed from sure. Milton and uh, and luckily the tropics update while you of course see this behind me uh, it's not all bad as of right now of course the models they'll continue to change just a little bit but the good news is ever since the beginning of last week this model consensus has been roughly about the same so we've been watching this one for a while the National Hurricane Center since the ADM update had given this one a 50 percent potential for tropical development over the next two days and an 80% potential over the next seven days. So more than likely we'll have a depression by tomorrow and maybe even a tropical storm as we go Wednesday into Thursday. We'll see because again, forecast models don't really agree too much on this one on where it's going to develop, when it's going to develop, but they do have a good trend on where they think it's going to go. 40 mile per hour winds moving to the west at about 20 miles per hour. And you can see from the spaghetti models, they develop somewhere around the central Caribbean. That's where it is going to be slowing down. That's where conditions a little bit more favorable. We'll see about a third of the models take it right up through Haiti, Dominican Republic, and then up out to sea. Then they got a couple of them a little bit longer through Jamaica, up through Cuba, while a couple other ones take it towards Central America. Look at the forecast uh, comparing the two models. And this one, of course, is your GFS and your European model. So this one to develop it a lot quicker. The GFS right again south of Espanol, while well, the European model takes a little while longer and you can see the difference. Here's your European. Look at the GFS and this is next Wednesday where still in the Western Caribbean is the European model and the GFS has already taken off. That's a 3000 mile difference in where these could be. But again, it's the same trend. They're getting picked up by the same thing and it's by cold fronts. Of course, the quicker it is to develop, the quicker it'll get picked up by this here. This is your wind shear forecast, and this is a trough that's coming through. And we'll have a trough coming through here as we go throughout Wednesday into Thursday, which is going to stall down to our south coming up into this coming weekend. And then possibly another one, which is what the European is showing. It also goes up. This one, the European model, eventually takes it up through Cuba and then up and out the sea. So again, the trends are about the same. It's just when we're going to see this happening. So we'll keep a close eye on that.